Okay, so now we have this nasty filtering artifact. Here's a smooth function, and then our, the function that we actually want to be up there. And maybe I'll just put them on top of one another so we can compare them more easily. Let's do this. Programming, get an array, build array, expand that out, and let's wire the original and the filtered together, and then that'll come out of the bottom graph. So the original is the white, and the other one is the red, and it's hard to see, so I'm going to reverse I'm going to reverse these these inputs. And the way to, to the quick way to reverse is hover so that you get the wiring, that little wiring icon. And you press control and you get the scissors icon. You hit the scissors and it reverses your wires. So control scissors. Okay, we'll play that again. We see this nasty filtering artifact. So how to get rid of that? Let me just show you in a schematic form my strategy for getting rid of that. So, okay, we have our signal, our noisy signal, for example, and we want to filter this and get a smooth signal. So what we do is tag it on either end, just pad it on either end, just multiplying out this, this, this value, the last value here and the first value here, and then filter this whole thing, and we get our nasty filtering artifacts on either end. Now all we do is just snip out our original data. So how do we do that? It's really easy actually. So what we're going to do is modify this a little bit. Disconnect this. Disconnect this. Make this a little cleaner so you can see what I'm doing. So all what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the initialize array and make an array of values as the same length as our original data, so a thousand samples long. And the value we want to use for this is the first value of the data. go. So this makes an array of whatever that first value is, it's around 1.5. So it'll make such and such number of samples long. And then we're gonna, just going to tag that onto the data. So I'm going to make a copy of this array here, build array. And now I'm going to connect this to our original data here. And then I'm going to right click on this. This is very important. Right click on this build array and say concatenate inputs. That adds arrays together end by end as opposed to stacking them as if they were data columns to make a spreadsheet. So end on connection. Connect that up. And let's just see what that looks like. I'll make another graph here. So it just should look like our original data, but just with a tag on the beginning of it. So there we go. There's our tag at the beginning. And we want to do the same thing and make a tag on the end. So the tag on the end should be the last value of the array. And one trick to do that is to just grab the reverse array, reverse 1D array. I'm sorry, I need to do a little bit more cleanup here. I didn't plan this well. Just move this down. Let me 
this is our original data here, so I'm just going to reverse that. And then grab the first value of that reversed data. So I just copied this indexed array here. So this is another index array. Grabbing the first value of that. Make a little more room. And then do the same thing again. So I'll just copy my first one and paste that. Okay, so we need to determine the size again. So that's going to be a thousand. And the element will be this last array element. Wire that in together. And then let's look and see what our data looks like. And we see it's tagged at both ends. So now we're going to filter this whole thing and just snip out the part we want. Snip out the tags. So now, make more space. Slide this over a little bit. Filter this. Now we're filtering the whole thing. And we see our filtering artifacts here. There's actually only one at the beginning. And now all we have to do is just snip out the part that we that we don't want. And I'm gonna do that using this using array subset, which is a nice little uh, handy trick. I can find it. Here we go. Array subset. Typed in the array and we need to give it a starting index and a stopping index. And the starting index is just the length of the original signal. So there are several ways we could do that. I'll just get the array size. We know it's a thousand long, but in more general cases we might not know that information. So I'll wire that up. And then the end is also the length. So now this is just literally just snipping out only the data we want. And we see this filtered snippet. Okay, so now I'm just going to wire this up back to our original place where we put the filter filtered data, and then just look at it in direct comparison. And we now see this nice smooth line. And we can change our cutoff frequency, not worry about those filtering artifacts. Okay, so now please save your file, because in the next part, in the next video, we're going to talk about another huge artifact of filtering, which is phase shifts. So please come back for that one.